Today, almost 5,000 elementary school students in the Folsom Cordova Unified District will return to the classroom. But earlier this week, the state moved Sacramento County into the purple tier of the COVID monitoring system. In that purple tier, schools aren't allowed to open in person. ABC, ABC 10 Zach Fuentes, live from Williamson Elementary in Rancho Cordova. Zach, this is confusing for many. How is this going forward? Understandably so, Walt. Well, this is happening because the return date and the reopening plans were all set when the county was still in the red tier. Like you said, we only found out earlier this week that the county would be going into the purple tier. So Sacramento County says it is okay for the district to proceed with these reopening plans. But the Folsom Cordova Education Association, who represents a little more than a thousand teachers, not too happy with this plan. They say that they don't have any verification that the schools have these new safety precautions put into place. Folsom some Cordova, Cordova Unified School District, though, says this is a safe return. The students are going to be broken up into a.m. p.m. sessions. That first session is going to be happening from 8.25 to 11 a.m. Then at 11 a.m. for an hour, there's going to be cleaning going on in the classrooms and on the high-touch surfaces. That should be done in time for the next session, which starts at noon. It's going to be the first time students get to come back to campus for in-person learning since March. These are for families who chose in-person learning for their kids up to fifth grade versus virtual learning. Those who chose virtual learning are going to get to keep doing that. But we spoke with one even with all the screenings and all the different things that they're doing. Um, you know, people are asymptomatic and just because a student doesn't have a fever doesn't mean that they're not contagious. Hey, that parent was very eager to speak with us, but he really weighed that decision heavily. He said part of the decision to send at least one of his kids back was because that kid is only going back to class with just one other student. Now, if a staff member or student does test positive, the district says that all people within close contact are going to be notified and asked to quarantine for 14 days. We also have something similar happening down in Modesto City Schools. Some preschoolers who second graders get to go back to school today. So listen, we're going to be speaking with the superintendent of the Folsom Cordova Unified School District just after after we wrap up our newscast here, and we plan to have that for you later this morning on Extra Shot at 11, Walt. Okay, looking forward to your update. Zach, thank you.